Here I want to go over how you can connect Get Response to WordPress. So again, we're back in our form settings, and we're going to specify that it should be displayed on the entire website. And we're using the Web Connect feature to connect to WordPress. And this is the code we want to add to our head section of our web pages. So we'll go ahead and copy this code. And we'll go into my WordPress site. And depending on what theme you're using in WordPress, it can actually be quite easy to set up. So in my case, I'm using the Astra theme, and one of the reasons I like it is it's very customizable, but also very easy to work with. So I'm going to create a custom layout, and I'm going to use a hooks layout type. Then at the top here, I'm going to enable the code editor, because that's what I need to use. And you give it a name. You can name it anything you want. I'll say get response. And here where it's highlighted, this is where you want to paste in the code. And then you want to scroll down to the custom layout settings section. And again, we're going to specify it's a hooks layout. Click on the action pull down menu. And we're going to select the W head option because we want the code to go in the head section. Priority default set to 10. Uh, for now, we won't worry about it. This is our only layout that we have. And then we specify the display. We're going to say entire website. And that's it. We click the publish button on the right. And we go into our website. And when somebody tries to exit, you get the pop-up. Pretty cool.